what you see right now is a sample application a very minimalistic application in flutter and uh, i am using the version flutter dash dash version so i am using flutter 3.32.0 this is the latest version and in this particular version a new window has been launched on the left side of our uh, vs code panel like this and this one is actually new flutter property editor if you click on it you will see a lot of fields and this one is the filter and this one is the description window so let me show you one thing you can clearly see that the hello is written at the top of my app screen i want it to be in the center it's already in the center but entire column widget in the center but not the children in the column is set to center it is not set actually so for that i need to add main axis alignment and set that to center if i click on this column or if i click on any widget in general you see the property editor window changes these are the properties of scaffold these are the properties of column these are the properties of center so once you click on any particular flutter widget the flutter editor will show you the properties associated with that widget so i want to add the main axis alignment to this particular column widget simply you go to this main axis alignment just click on this drop down and you will see so many options that we used to manually type these in the past but uh, we can do this graphically using this property editor uh, this is the default value that was already set i can change it to center and the moment i click on it center the changed state is uh, now set and uh, in the code you will see that main axis alignment has been added to the column so whatever you select from these it will get added to this column okay so this is one such feature another feature is that you can also filter out which property do you want actually so let's say i want the cross axis alignment and the moment i type cr it matches with the available properties for me let me delete that using this clear button also you can use the regex uh, command i'm not going to use that in this particular video also you can click on this more filters and only include properties that are set in the code let's say for example i have 1000 lines of code and in that uh, i set the main axis alignment to center i have not used any uh, main axis size or cross axis alignment something like that so when i will type main you will see one thing the moment i type main two things appear because the flutter is telling me use these two features but i'm not going to use the main axis size either so for that whatever i have already used main axis alignment it also it should show me that particular property so if i check on this particular button it will show me the properties that you set for a particular widget if i uncheck it it will show me all the available properties and any widget description you will see here center creates a widget that centers its child for column uh, you will see creates a vertical array of children you can also click on show more this is the description of this particular widget and this is the newest flutter property editor and you can easily add code from this particular gui so let me uh, uh, press ctrl s and the hello is in the center manually 
uh, we used to do like uh, this in the past like uh, cross axis alignment like manually typing cross axis alignment like this uh, and also we used to do control spacebar to see all the available properties but we can avoid that in the newest version of flutter so okay let me show you one more thing that is not yet available in flutter you cannot add complex properties to your application like uh, in now this is the parent uh, you see all the properties here for this text you see all the properties here but if i insert another widget inside this text widget like uh, for example in the style property uh, i will insert a text style widget you will not see any information regarding text style see these are not textile properties if i press control space bar you will see these are the available properties for the text style and not a single property is shown here so complex properties is not yet available as of now okay so this is all about the flutter property editor you must use it on the parent widgets not on the uh, nested child widgets you cannot use that in the text style for example you can use in the text but uh, not in the text style so the complex properties are not allowed in the flutter property editor as of now but in future it will allow obviously this property editor will actually minimize the time and effort while building uis that is a good sign that flutter is extending its uh, functionalities and uh, the vision is very strong and flutter is heading in a very right direction for now so that's it for this video